Okay, guys, so for this portion of the workshop, you are going to need to draw in your digital, I'm sorry, in your sketchbook, three inch by three inch boxes. You're gonna need three of them. Um, we're gonna aim for value, texture, and form. Remember that value is just a fancy art term for shading. Texture is really created by um, balancing line and value. And form is really when we have created something that's three dimensional looking. So you're gonna need three boxes, three inch by three inch. Remember an inch is about the length of your knuckle. So use your ruler, make sure you use the right um, measurements to get three inch by three inch boxes because I think anything smaller and you're gonna have a hard time blending your oil pastels. They're probably just gonna all blend together. All right, the first thing that we're going to try out is a tree. So you're gonna pick one of these and you are going to draw it within your three inch block. I want you to focus on using analogous colors. Those were the, that was that rule of threes, the three that are related to each other to achieve value, texture, and form. Um, you're gonna layer your colors. You're gonna vary your strokes and try different things. So when I say vary your strokes, anytime your pastel touches the paper and you move it across the paper, that is a stroke. So if you vary your strokes, that means try different kinds of lines, layer them to create this kind of tree. So here's an example, this was called scumbling. And um, there was lots of layered lines that happened here. It, it does end up covering up the page below. So you still shouldn't see page below. Um, but if you use related colors, they will all begin to blend, but they'll also have a texture to them, which is what you need to, if you're gonna create a tree. Um, this stippling is another one. So you can see I used two yellows, two reds, two oranges, a purple, and a blue in this stippling. So even in stippling, um, there's enough oil on the paper that it covers up the paper. You don't see the white peeking out from below. Um, and the color shifts in value. So you can see how this could easily uh, work well to create that tree texture. But you can also get a sense of texture with a more blended approach too. So even, even in this very blended from white to color, um, there's still a lot of texture happening in here. So be careful with your blacks and your really darks. Um, but take a few minutes, pause the video. I want you to look at your subject that you're drawing the entire time as you're drawing. Your eye is going to be darting back and forth between the image and your paper and do your best to recreate the values that you see. Look for areas of light and areas of dark. If you're working with this green tree, this is not just a green tree. Um, you can use several shades of green, yellows, maybe some, um, definitely some dark blues to create some of these shadows maybe even some purples. So use your imagination. Don't just go straight to black and brown to create shadows. Pause the video until you're finished. All right, so in block number two, you're gonna choose a mountain. So try layer, laying your pastel on its side and sliding it or dragging it in the direction that you see the mountain sloping that can be one strategy to um, achieve this look. Um, you don't necessarily have to worry about the clouds and all that stuff. You're really just creating the mountains, all right? You're looking for that texture, um, that form, create that sense of value. Now, if you want to use arbitrary colors to do that, you can do that. Arbitrary simply means colors that you've chosen just because you like them. These are all very natural colors. You can stick with that. Or you could choose any range of colors where you create something that has the texture of a mountain. So pause the video, look closely, keep your eye on the image. You wanna go back and forth between the image and your paper. So look closely, look at the texture, look at the light. Um, use different techniques to see what you can do to create a sense of texture that looks something like a mountain. And remember, you're just creating the illusion of the mountain. So try different things.
All right, so here is the last little exercise in your third block. You are going to choose one of these images. If you choose this one, you're working with the flowers. If you choose this one, you're working with the clouds. These are things that um, give people a hard time when they're working with landscape drawings. So if you're looking at the flower, notice how one of the flowers is larger than all the others. You can see one in great detail, you can see a little bit of detail on a couple others, and the rest of them you can see no detail. So the question is, your challenge is, how can you use line value and color to communicate the idea of flowers without actually drawing all the flowers? Because that would be impossible with um, an oil pastel working that small. So how can you communicate the idea of flowers without actually drawing each one? If you were working with this image, you are going to focus in on the clouds. Notice how the clouds are not solid white. So we've got um, quite a bit of variation in the value here. Some areas are darker than others. Um, and I'm going to ask you too, what what gives you the idea that the clouds are white? How do you know the clouds are white? The answer is because there's blue behind it, right? And it's not all one blue. The blue is, is different here than it is over here. The, the blue over here is a little different than it is over here. So take that into consideration. Use your blending techniques. Be very, very careful with the darks and come up with creative ways to draw a flower. I'm sorry, to draw a cloud. And remember, the last thing that you want to do, the very last thing that you want to do is something like this. Don't do that, all right? You guys knew how to do that when you were little kids, but we are moving on from that technique. So don't do that. Use your techniques that you learned and come up with a way to draw a cloudy sky in that three inch by three inch block. All right, so again, guys, awesome job today. You should have drawn one three inch by two inch landscape sketch and written the three components of the landscape beside it. You should have identified them on the, on the sketch. You should have practiced um, three, I wrote three inch, I should have wrote three inch, not two inch, three, three inch by three inch blocks of texture using oil pastel. Um, and I put here, now you're ready to begin your oil landscape, in which we may do that next week, but just be prepared. We, um, The art department's got to communicate about that. We've got a couple other things coming up too. Um, so we may postpone that a little bit. But that is the next big product that we will launch into. Um, this is getting you prepared for that, so you can do an awesome job on that. Um, make sure that you photograph your work that you did today. Put it in your digital sketchbook. Um, answer your reflection or your attendance question, and you are done. Awesome job today, guys. Really appreciate your